In our five years of living aboard Salt Air 3, this sailing trio has seen almost every Caribbean island there is to see. It's a beautiful place to explore, full of culture, wonderful people, and amazing places. But there's a dark side emerging in the Caribbean, a side not seen from the beachfront hotels, but rather from the remote islands where it's difficult to hide. Plastic pollution in our oceans is a serious problem. The trade winds that carry us sailors around the Caribbean blow from east to west, and as such, Belize has become the resting point for a depressing amount of plastic trash. All the Caribbean countries are affected, but Belize has taken a bigger hit than others. I'm going to share some of what we've seen far too many times in the Caribbean, but especially in Belize. This is not a feel-good sailing video, but more of a wake-up call. Garbage disposal in the third world countries of the Caribbean is problematic, and the recycling of plastics is almost non-existent. In this video, you'll see how much plastic has made landfall on this little Belizean island we recently visited, and I think you'll agree that there is a problem. Imagine how much more is stuck out there on the reefs or has sank to the bottom of the sea on its journey west. There's so much more I could share, but not today. I hope this footage sticks with you and inspires you to do what you can. Remember, a little can go a long way. Like Krista says in the video, reduce, reuse, recycle, and finally, refuse single-use plastics when you can. And you know what? If we all do a little, it's impossible for it not to make a difference. Wow, so many bottle caps. Mucho basura. Si. Mucho basura. Problema. Es problema. Look at the garbage, you guys. This is just... Bottle caps and plastic water bottles or soda bottles or... And no, it... no, no. No caminar por ahí porque... Don't walk in there, no camino. And they've been burning it, and burning it up and down. There's spots all the way along where they've been burning it. And it just keeps coming. It's, it's such a problem in the Caribbean. Look at the plastic people. I mean, this is terrible. This has all been burnt to piles of garbage and it's still back. This coconut is trying to grow amongst all of this styrofoam. You can see the roots coming out. There's one root already down there. I can't pull it up because the root's attached. Growing in amongst a sea of garbage. Soda bottles, shoes, talcum powder, more shoes, more shoes, styrofoam. What are we leaving for our children? Another burn pile where they've had to burn it to get rid of it. Another burn pile where they've had to burn it to get rid of it. This is an island with two men living on it. They have some cabanas here. It's owned by somebody, in, a man, a family in Belize that has orange plantations and pineapple plantations. And they were going to build a resort here. Last year they had only four tourists here. So nobody's coming here as far as polluters. There's nothing that, they're not collecting this garbage and putting it on the shores. This is washing up in our oceans on so many beaches that we've seen. Just here in Belize with the second largest barrier reef in the world and look what we're putting on it. Oh my God, this is just terrible. All of this, another burn pile, another burn pile, massive burn piles. But it doesn't even make a difference. It's just this is not a garbage dump, people. This is this, this is this is just a little island out here off the coast of Belize. 
They're not bringing mainland garbage and dumping it on this island. This is a privately owned island. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, this is horrendous. Two men that live here are generous enough to give us a tour of their island, and that's what we're doing. But look at this is just unbelievable. I mean, it could be such a beautiful spot, but it'll never be beautiful. I don't even know what to say. Chris just saw something on Facebook the other day. We posted something that said, reduce, reuse, recycle. The other person said, refuse, reduce, reuse, recycle. Well, I'm not even seeing any plastic bags here. They've all been burnt, I guess. Wow. Wow. All right. Back to our little tour. We're going out to the point. GoPro stop. Rec I can't even stop. Look at it all. It just keeps coming. What do you think, Krista? Crio. Huh? What do you think? Yeah. Basura. Basura. No bueno. No es bueno. No. No es bueno. Es dañino para la salud. Sí. So here it's washed up with the waves and it stays in the rocks. So that's why we're seeing it here. Up here is a little less, it's all broken down and it's amongst the gravel and the smaller pieces. You know, if we're not careful, whoever fits that shoe will never see one of these in the lot in the real world if we keep going like this. You're so right. Okay. Hey, anybody want a toothbrush? GoPro. Oh, I can't. I was going to stop the recording, but it just keeps going. Look at it around the corner. Batteries, cartridges. Oh. Oh, this is just so heartbreaking. Look at all the bottle caps. Where are all the bottles? It just keeps going, people. It just doesn't end. They're gonna, they're gonna build little homes here for tourists to come and enjoy the plastic beach.
spooky. Again, the white, it's not shells, it's styrofoam pieces. It's all styrofoam, it's not shells, it's styrofoam. Every little bit. Ah, uh, what's the answer? I don't have the answers. I'm just sharing what I'm seeing. Oh my goodness, people, we have a plastic problem. Careful what you step on. Of course, we're all wearing rubber flip flops. just got to be an answer that we can help figure out. Every windward beach that we go to is just a garbage dump. And it's blowing in from everywhere. Shoes. Down there, the mangrove was just kind of grown over it. What do you think, Cole? Pretty sad, hey? You know, we've got this beautiful beach here, but it's just, this, the plastic is just part of the whole beach now. It's just everything you see that's white. It's not fragments of shell, it's fragments of plastic, plastic. of whatever kind. Plastic, 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 bottle caps. Welcome to our world now. New slogan, refuse, reduce, recycle. No longer reduce, now it's refuse. Yeah, if you can refuse plastic, do it. It's tough, but we can pull it off. I think so. Just do your best. It's all anybody can do. Go for So we've been walking the beach here and we've started collecting a few things in the last 100 feet. I just wanted to show you what we collected. Look at the toothbrushes. And the bottle lids. So, I don't know what the answer is, but I know that there's a serious problem. If we could just start by maybe water bottles, so we don't have all these bottle caps. Maybe there's a deposit put on water bottles, maybe 10 cents. If you buy a bottle of water, it's a 10 cent deposit. Which makes you forced to take it to be recycled, if there is an, even is recycling in your area. You know in Canada, we recycle all our water bottles. Anything plastic, there's a deposit placed on it. But then where does it go? And what do we do with it after it gets to the recyclers? Are they using it? Is it being recycled properly? I don't know, I guess that's up to me to do some more research. Anyway, we gotta go, there's a storm coming, if you can see it off in the background. That's packing a ton of rain. Not that we don't mind getting wet. We need to go put up our rain shades, babe. Yeah, do it. Our rain slash sunshades.